you bring the entire ecosystem together from startups to regulators to financial institutions to investors. That's how everybody finds the right opportunity to grow and to tap into new markets and new areas of Islamic fintech as well. When you talk about Islamic economy, you are talking about excellence, you are talking about innovation. Islamic economy to me is welfare-based economy. And we do not want the wealth also to be uh, treated in a way which would be harmful to the humanity. To go for the distribution of the zakat, for instance, with this new technology, what you need to do it in two, three days' time, you can do it in one or two, three hours. This summit is essential because it's about creating firstly awareness, but it's also allowing people to get deeper knowledge of, of how things work. Sadly, Islamic finance is not well understood and neither is fintech. And, and when you get the two topics together, the audience has an opportunity to develop that understanding. Well, I think it's super important to have these events because it promotes awareness of Islamic finance. You know, entrepreneurship is usually a risk-taking venture and people tend to be young and ambitious. It's good for them to see role models for people in the industry who are doing it right now. It's inspirational. In startups, when things are centralized, there's so much opportunities for people to take on. But the key issue is for you on the success is about collaboration. Of course, in any economic activity, you need to sustain as a cash flow. You cannot just think short term, as in like a year. You got to think progressively in terms of three years, five years, even 10 years plan. We don't have enough research in the market and we don't have enough awareness activities. So bringing experts together in one platform makes this a unique event and I believe that this is one of its kind in the world right now. If you have an idea and your idea solves a problem, work on it, write a presentation, present it to the world, present it online, bring it forth, and there is a lot of venture capital out there that will be attracted to help you to pan out into a system. I met a number of amazing startups who are, I was surprised to know that some VCs are actually interested in the area of Islamic fintech. And you know, they're coming from Indonesia, Hong Kong, Singapore, Russia, and it's really interesting to see such interest from such people. And I hope that we continue building up on the momentum of GIFS, hopefully for 2019 edition, Java. things about fintech today as opposed to the internet revolution 20 years ago is that the cost of entry is very very low all you need is the right ambition a really good idea so if you have a good idea meet and network people who have a view on how to solve that problem uh, getting people together and organizing quickly is very very important but mentorship early is key So I think for any industry, especially something like Islamic banking, for it to actually succeed, all the ecosystem players will actually need to come together and actually work together to make it succeed, right? For anyone to get a loan, you definitely need a minimum of three contracts. Imagine if all those contracts are powered by blockchain using smart contracts. I believe that um, seeing the attendees coming from all around the world, it's a true global Islamic event and um, I do thank the organizers for organizing such events. We would like to see a bit more uh, Islamic banks involved to try and give their inputs and their ideas and more innovation um, as well as engaging with the audiences. Blockchain is something that's relevant at this point in time so far as FinTech is concerned. Hopefully there will be more of these kind of events coming to Malaysia. We have a chance to see what kind of initiations we can see on this side of the earth in terms of fintech in our business, finance and the Islamic banking in special. And I think this is what makes it important, where you can meet like-minded people trying to create a similar things or have similar impact. And instead of duplicating, competing, we figure out how to work together. I would like to see this event happening more often. We we'll probably need to bring a little bit more Islamic VC operators. Blockchain is essential for Islamic and any other ethical business. For any ethical business, the key issue is accountability and transparency. And uh, what is better for transparency than blockchain? So this is absolutely the great future for uh, Islamic fintech.